Hmm. Moxie by five. I'm at 13. Well, the other thing just put um six on me, so. Cow tongue. Here it is. Minudo geode. Moxie. Yes. Menu did, and it's like a pain in my stomach. It's intensely spicy and comes with swirls of aftertastes that you refuse <laughs> to examine. Sometimes when a pocket of intestine remains behind when a cow is undergoes the transition to infernal ungulith, and you get one of these, a stone sphere full of boiling tripe. Ugh. Okay. Let me see here. Moxie. Moxie, Moxie, Moxie. Hmm. This is something I do enjoy. I love like when I'm presented with a problem and they're like and I just have to figure it out, you know. Liver. So that's a booze. A sort might help. Grit. And then let's eat two of these. Wait, what did I just put points into? There we go. This is both a sandwich for goblins and a sandwich with a meat is goblin. Goblin sandwich. Not sure what I was expecting. All right, that's 25. Got another, uh, got some more room for liver here. I need a big moxie thing. I'll give it a shot. Shoot like the wind. Not bad. Not enough balloons for our grand prize, but it'll give you a little something. Small plush kitten. Ooh, more pistol attack. That might be useful, actually. Maybe I can literally go buy something that'll give me some good moxie. A small hell cow. A hell calf. Really? Snorks at a patch of brush. Then starts grazing. Ah, kill it! Calm down, Susie. It's only a little one. Kill it before it gets bigger. You dig a small pit and cover with tumbleweed, which you light on fire. It canters over excitedly when you kick it into the hole and throw rocks at it until it's banished from this plane. Now that was mighty satisfying. Cool. No. We want to go here. Mercantile. Damn. 
How much would it take for me to... Hmm. Maybe I could just... Let's see if I can't guarantee myself getting a little more. Besides, I've got another... I've got another room for sipping, so maybe I could... Will this give me it? Dirt water bourbon. Okay, so yeah, it gave me it as an item. Ah, HP. Maybe if we go to the rescue mission, we'll get something for it. There might be items there. Because what I need is a potion. Can I buy some medical supplies? Damn. You sell me stuff, I know. Hmm. How confusing. Maybe we'll go here. Snake pit mine. Black bolted to the cave wall here. A record of the events of the expedition <laughs> to and into Shaggy Dog Cave, 87. As recorded by Jim Plackwright. That's funny. Some fellow is reeling to plaques. Think they're important? Only one way to find out, I guess. Another plaque. Having acquired through various and sundry means a story for which is interesting for its own time, a better save for another time, a map purporting to a, to lead to a large cache of jewels and ingots and precious metals, hidden by the infamous highwaymen's and train robber Black Cole Jr. in the years before the cow came home, I, Jim Plackwright, with three companions, these being Nathaniel Wyman, Cyrus Howard, and Douglas Watts, set out to find Shaggy Dog Cave and the abandoned treasure. Good night. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I was Googling something. Another plaque. Our equipment and provisions consisted of one cart and a horse to pull out, four additional horses to be ridden, one, two shovels, a spade, and a mining pick, large coils of rope, one large basket of eggs, an assortment of troll provisions and cookware, my own collection of blank plaques and engraving tools, one large and shaggy dog and a butt for. And the plaque. After driving for two and a half days to the south and east, we arrived in a small town named Durwater, the largest settlement in the vicinity of Shaggy Dog Cave. Leaving the dog that watched the horses, the four of us entered the local saloon and ordered a beer, except Sai, who was satisfied with the water. This is how old books are written. Sometimes, like, I was, uh, I was recently trying to read... I forget, I want to say it was 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The barman provided a drink to request and withdrew a small wooden box from under the bar, asking if we cared to witness something real interesting. Considering we still had a few hours left to travel, we politely declined, and asked if we knew the way to Shaggy Dog Cave. He'd never been there personally, but he gave us rough directions which correlated nicely with the notes on our map. On law and leaving the saloon, we discovered to our dismay an unknown villain had tampered with a wagon. Fortunately, the only supplies missing were the butt for and an entire basket of eggs, apart from one that Dave dug and concealed within a pocket for safekeeping. The dog had absconded with one of the horses. 
forcing Nate and Sai after drawing lots to share. After requiring a barrel of fresh water for the trip and a replacement butt for, we headed out into the open desert. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about the butt for joke. It is perhaps one of the most grade school jokes you'll ever encounter. But the butt for joke is really funny to me. The sun shone down mercilessly upon us, though we took small solace in the fact it would have been more intolerable having made this expedition in the summer months rather than November. In order to pass the time of the trip and request coming days from the heat and susceptible des to desert mirages, we exchanged stories of our youth, which I will not be retelling here for reasons of length. I will relate to you three odd occurrences. I'm going to start <laughs> Two or three hours out, a glint of sunlight on a metallic object buried in the sand. Revealed to be a brass oil lamp of foreign design and manufacture, fortuitously still containing a quantity of oil. We we swiped it. Next encounter was a nomad goblin who spoke excellent English. He inquired our destination. We said shag Shaggy Dog. We didn't say why. We were on the right way. He told us we were on the right way, and only a short time earlier, he'd seen a large and shaggy dog riding a horse in the same direction. By the way, do you all know the term shaggy dog story? A shaggy dog story is one in which you tell a very long and exaggerated story with a unsatisfying punchline or lack thereof. Like, I think the original shaggy dog story is just a very long and boring story about a dog that is believed to be uh, some rich person's pet. So somebody puts up with this really annoying dog in order to hopefully get a reward um, and then, like, while he's, like, almost about to take the dog home, he, like, trips and breaks his neck, or somebody, like, shoots the dog, or something like that. Sometime later, we encounter a large adobe hut occupied by two seemingly identical old men with wild hair and long white beards. They invite us to take shelter, which we accepted. They introduced themselves as hermits. This was particular, peculiar, eh, given there were two, but it would be rude to question that. One of the hermits confirmed we were near it, and what it, the other one confirmed that his brother was correct. They had seen a large shaggy dog riding a horse. This was an unusual sight. They refreshed our water in exchange for the butt floor, and we continued. After two more hours, we got there. We carefully keeping our excitement in check, lest we become incautious. Interesting word. Uh, we unloaded everything, and... To celebrate our arrival, Doug unpocketed and shared the egg that he had saved from the basket stolen in Uh During discovering we had neglected to pack torches, lanterns, or any other light source, we had declared that it was fortuitous we had found that oil lamp. He gave the brass a quick shine and lit the wick. It lit easily and dis uh, produced an adequate amount of light. We headed in. We were encouraged by the fact the floor was even and easy to traverse. There were no side passages which might become us to become lost. I resolved to hang a number of plaques to mark our progress through the cave and engrave them with the tale of our journey. Thus, others might uh, be entertained and edified. Near the end of the tunnel, uh, we took turns. I completed the last of the plaques. It's a matter of time before Psy Shuffle struck a wooden surface of a hollow noise and hold an exceptionally styled treasure chest out with great excitement. Uh, the chest was locked with an ancient and rusted padlock, which broke easily from a single swing over the pick. We opened it slowly, and the ancient oil lamp shone brilliantly on jewels of every color, and ingots of precious metals. As promised, joyous at her triumphs, we loaded the chest into the wagon and began the journey home. Thanks for reading. Signed, Jim Plackwright. A completely empty hole. Well, that was worth it. Wreck stagecoach, but whatever. A skeleton propped up on the horizon, looking through binoculars at the horizon. Propped up on its elbows, looking through binoculars at the horizon. I guess he died waiting 
I just guess he died before whatever he was waiting for to show up. These will come in handy. They will also come in pair because otherwise they wouldn't be binoculars. As you're writing your destination, you pass a building in a barn in which a barn dance is happening. I guess that makes it a barn. The people inside are having a good time. You mosey in and have a grand old time with the barn dance. You even learn new moves. Most of the moves involve pretending to reel someone in for the dance for the lasso, but their moves still. Oh, hey, I think we even... I think we saw this earlier. I googled that I needed... I needed something. I googled where I could find it. What happened? Yes, good. While practicing your forging techniques, you squeeze the book in a book juice, which turns out isn't a real thing. Yes. We have finally gotten 30 moxie. El Vibrato starts bleeping at you, and you play hot and cold until you find a weird looking crate behind some rocks. You fumble around outside the crate until you find the bit that makes the lid slide open when you push it. Nice. That means that we're only one away, I think. Yeah, we need five. You're not sure how a jaguar shoots, but it's presumably pretty good. You clear the entire wall of balloons, and the clown looks near pretty, pretty impressed. All B, looks like you win. Congrats on the finest shooting I've seen in a while. The show's starting soon, so don't miss it. All right, let's fix all of our statistics here. 